Hello, my name is Jordan and I'm the founder of Always Improving, a new and growing self-improvement channel on YouTube. I create animated videos that help you improve your happiness, health, wealth and relationships. Over the next three videos, I'm going to teach you some of the lessons from Kanna's book, The Thousand Dollar Project. The lessons will be linked to other books I've listened to, as well as personal experiences I've had. You'll learn to have more of what you want while spending less, learn how eating an elephant can actually help you, and you'll even learn about something called sock wrestling. Before that, if you end up finding these videos useful, be sure to check out the Always Improving YouTube channel by clicking the link in the description of this video. Now, let's begin. Just in case you're completely new to the $1,000 project, here's a quick summary. Kana's aim was to save $40,000 in one year and invest it to create a passive income of $2,000 per year. Kana broke down the goal into 40 packets of $1,000 and invested each one into shares. The book explains the process of how to do the $1,000 project yourself. It's full of tips on earning, saving and investing the money to achieve the goals you want in your life. It's great because not only does it tell you the practical side of the $1,000 project, it also helps navigate you through the emotional aspect as well. Kana wants to encourage you to use the $1,000 project to create more financial harmony in your life, like pay off your home loan, invest, build passive income and create an earlier optional retirement. So that gives you a general idea of what the book is about, now on to the specific lessons. First, I want to ask you a question. It may seem a bit odd, but here it is. How would you eat an elephant? You'd be amazed how often I ask myself this question, and actually how useful it is. If you had the task, for some strange reason, to eat an elephant, genuinely how would you go about it? You'd take one bite at a time. There is no other way you could do it other than one bite at a time. Eat bite after bite until you've eaten the whole thing. So why am I telling you this? This way of working through a task, piece after piece, is known as chunking. And this is exactly what Canada did to complete the $1,000 project. The aim was $40,000, which concentrated on $1,000 packets, one at a time. When you work in this way, it helps to keep you motivated. You can just say, I'll concentrate on the next $1,000, and then work from there. The reason this works is because it stops you from feeling overwhelmed. You may see overwhelm as a negative emotion. However, in the book Awaken the Giant Within, Tony Robbins calls negative emotions action signals. Negative emotions are just trying to tell you something, and if you listen, they really help, so long as you take action. The message overwhelm is trying to get to you is that you need to reevaluate what is most important to you and decide what to focus on. The action you should take is simply to focus on the next step. So in this case, focus on the next thousand dollars. You might be thinking, well that's pretty obvious, but it's extremely powerful. This technique is exactly what magician David Blaine used to get through all of his incredible stunts. He was buried alive for a whole week with nothing but water. He stood in a block of ice for over 63 hours, stood in a 100 foot pillow for 36 hours, lived in a glass box for 44 days with nothing but water, and he even held his breath for 17 minutes, breaking the world record. These were not illusions. Since a young age, he's been obsessed with pushing his willpower, and the most important thing he does is to only focus on the next piece of the task, the next chunk. So whether it's the $1,000 project or anything else in life, take it piece by piece and only focus on the next chunk. This may seem obvious, but it works. Keep adjusting the size of the chunks until each day you feel you're making progress, but you don't feel like you're going to burn out. You don't have to do the $1,000 project, you can do the $500 or even the $100 project, whatever is best for you. So that's the first lesson. In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to get more of exactly what you want for less money by using a technique from the $1,000 project called Money Mindfulness. And you'll also learn about something called sock wrestling. Until then, have an awesome day.